You asked for it, and I'm here to deliver. Michael Strout from WixTrainingAcademy.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a custom login box or light box on your website in Wix. Now, if you remember a couple weeks ago, actually almost about a month ago now, I taught you how to create a custom registration. I understand that in that video, I used some verbiage that may have been a bit misleading or confusing to you by mentioning login as well. So what I showed you in that video was a custom registration box. In this video, it is the same, and I mean same exact thing, except it's a login light box instead. And when I tell you it's the same exact thing, I mean that it's gonna be super simple to just simply copy over similar concepts from the registration and put it right into the light box for your login. So let's jump right into it. But before we do that, two things. One, hit that subscribe button right down below and turn on notifications so that way you're notified when all my new videos come out. Guys, I just got back to college, so I'm kind of regrouping uh, here and getting adjusted to classes, all that good stuff. So I apologize for a late delay on this video. And then the social network video is coming out uh, either towards the end of this week, beginning of next week. That's a promise. And then the second thing is to access the code we're going to use in today's video, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below. And then once you get there, click Academy. And from there, you can actually sign up and register using that same registration code that I showed you in the last video. But instead, today we're going to be logging in, and I'll show you where to access the code. So I'm going to go ahead and log in using the same exact login box that I'm going to show you in the video. I'm going to reference mine and show you how to make it work. And then we click log in, redirects us based off of the back end Wix user information to the dashboard that I've created here for you guys. And then once we're in here, you have access to this entire Wix Training Academy dashboard with loads of courses, content, webinars, masterminds, a community feature, all that good stuff. But if you're here just for the code, you come down here to code snippets and click code snippets just like that. And then it's gonna redirect us to this code snippet page. From there, you would simply press get code and copy and paste the login code into what I show you today, which we're gonna hop into right now. So you just simply press get code and then this is the Stripe code. Got to change it over for you. And it's going to pop up with the login code. It's going to look just like this registration code, except it's going to be the same thing with login in embedded rather than registration embedded. So we're going to X out of that and go to it. First things first, what you need to do is you need to create a light box. To create a light box, you go to add. And then what you can do is you come down here to Lightbox in the menu, and you simply select whatever one you want. Now I'm going to show you the Lightbox that I used for the login for the Witch Training Academy because ultimately it really does not matter what Lightbox you have because you customize it. So I'm going to come in here, Menus and Pages, and I'm going to scroll down to Lightboxes, and I'm going to go to my Login Lightbox and I'm gonna click on it. You can see I just took one of the light boxes and created a my own custom light box. I put this picture here, I put the text, I did all that good stuff. But what really matters in this case is these three elements right here. So what we have to do is we have to make sure our Wix code developer tools are on. You can see it says turn off here, which means our developer tools are on. Now what we have to do once we have our light box and we've designed it the way we want is we need to go ahead and open up add and then what you're going to do is you're going to come in here to user input and you're going to select one of these text input fields. It doesn't matter which one you select because it's ultimately preference and design to what you like and how you want it to look. But we go ahead and add them. When we add them, which these are the result of adding them. The first one is going to be email. So we're going to come into settings and then we're going to choose the type up here and it's going to be email. And then you're going to have placeholder text here. I put email for mine. Maybe you'll show the format you want that login email to look. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's set to required. That's it for that input form or that input box. Next we have password. So we either copy and paste this 
field and bring it down and then change the information or we go back to add and add it again. We'll come in here to password and we click settings and we're going to choose type password. The reason we do password is because it'll block it out with those little black dots rather than showing your password each letter by letter in full. It's a protective scenario rather than just showing your entire password maybe a people looking over your shoulder something of the sorts but you change that to password and then you change your placeholder text again I chose password for mine and for general settings required and then the last component is your login now button so this is going to be whatever button you choose you simply come in here to add once again and you go straight down to button and then you could select any button you would like. It doesn't matter. You choose the design, you choose the style of button, you choose the colors, you choose all of that. What matters is the function of the button, which I'm about to get into. So now that we have these three fields here, what you're going to do is you're going to take the code from wixtrainingacademy.com, the code snippet region, and you're going to come in here and you're going to simply open our little code manager down here. Once you do that, we have our login lightbox page code right here. This is the same exact code from my website that I provided you minus this Wix location I put backslash home for you as a placeholder. I'll get to that in just a second. So what needs to happen is you need to copy and paste this code and if you want to make it really uber simple for yourself use the same variables that I used use the same field IDs so what I mean is if we go into tools here and we click property panels what we're gonna do and I'm gonna go ahead and hide our other toolbar this right here is a field this ID is what correlates with the code as we did in the registration light box in the registration I did register register email in the uh, login one I did login email so what you need to do is use the same ID as me as it's gonna help you just follow along and it's already set to be pretty standard with a login box so you go login capital E because it is case sensitive uh, for the second letter so whenever there's a second word involved you always capitalize that second or that first letter of that second word so then you have login email right here and then you're gonna have password and I did login password just like that and then finally the login now button login now so if you copy all of these same exact IDs as I did you can literally copy and paste the code completely from which training Academy code snippets and not change anything but this one thing which is this Wix location dot two so mine is dot two backslash academy dash dashboard because that's the page extension so it's whatever your website name is so blah 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 dot com backslash and then that's what page you need to send them to depending on whatever page that is for you some of it it will be member profile pages some of it it will just be another page on the website some will be dynamic pages so you need to set that for whatever page you're sending them to but it's that whatever dot com backslash whatever that is that's the page you send them to and that's the words you put here if it's two words like Academy dashboard make sure you put a dash in between those other than that guys you copy that code straight into here you see the login now that's our button here and we have an on click function set already done in the code for you that's the one I copy and pasted for you on the Wix training Academy and then our login now button says when this button is clicked this is what the code technically says let email login email right here as you can see in the code and let password login password right here as you can see in the code dot value dot value and then it'll log in and then it's, it has a redirect a dot then after they've inputted this information and clicked the button send them to whatever that page is and it's that simple and you saw it work right at the beginning of the video but just in case you didn't I'm gonna go back and show you one more time how to do that if this video helped you guys out drop a like down below comment if you have any questions regarding this guys I'm here to help you out that's what I'm here to do and then don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button below and click that bell icon on 
And finally, I'm gonna walk through this process one more time to show you one, the login button and light box in action and also to show you one last time how to access that code snippet. So we're here at wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below. We're gonna click login unless you're not a new member. If you are a new member coming to the Wix Training Academy, you need to click Academy and register before you can log in, obviously, because if you don't have an account, registered in Wix on my website, it's not gonna let you log in. So then we'll click log in, and then I'll come in here, I'll put my email that I'm registering with, and I'll come in here just like that, and then I will click log in now, and it will redirect me. Now, to address some of those important questions that I know people are gonna ask. One, how to reset a password. Great question. And I'm working with Wix on how to get that password reset function out to you. And I will make an updated video for that specifically, or I will send it to you guys via the weekly email that I send. And again, you have to be registered for the Wix Training Academy to get that email. But I know that's an important feature a lot of you want. So we can go ahead and stay tuned for that because it's gonna be coming very, very soon. I'm in the process of doing it for my website right now, so no need to worry about that. I will get that out to you as soon as possible. Other than that, guys, once again, once you're in the Academy dashboard, you simply come down here to Code Snippets, and then you'll see Custom Login Lightbox, and you'll press Get Code, copy the code, paste it, just like we did in this video, and you are set off to the races. Guys, I hope this video helped you out. Once again, drop a like down below. Head over to wixtrainingacademy.com and I will see you on our next video, likely building a social network in Wix. Thank you guys. Catch you on the next one.